Welcome to the flight world. MCOS. We are going to talk about that. But before discussing about MCOS, we should know, what forced Boeing to introduce such a software. In aircraft market, there are many manufacturers. Among them, Airbus and Boeing are the major manufacturers. So if someone makes better aircraft, it affects the other. In December 2010, Airbus launched a new aircraft called A320neo, which is more fuel efficient than other aircrafts in A320 family. The main advantage of this aircraft is, that pilots don't need any major additional trainings, because A320neo, is very similar to the previous A320. The only difference is A320neo got bigger, fuel-efficient engines, which are CFM Leap 1A, or Pratt and Whitney PW1000G. So, many orders came from all over the world, which decreased the income of Boeing. They decided to make a similar aircraft. They also decided to replace engines of the 737-800 aircrafts. The problem comes here. Even though Airbus could slip the new engines under the A320, Boeing couldn't, because their 737-800 is shorter than A320, which means, there aren't enough room for the bigger engines. So, Boeing engineers came up with a smart solution. They decided to bring the engines forward and lift up. But this made a path to another problem. As the cover of the engine or engine nacelle, got out of the wing, more than previous engines, they started making a little lift. Also we can't forget that these engines are bigger, which means, they got more surface area. So the aircraft was pitching up. Again the engineers came up with a solution. That's it. MCOS. MCOS or Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System is flight control law, which is in 737 MAX, decreases pitch-up tendency at higher angle of attack. This actually helps pilots to level the aircraft. When MCOS comes to know that angle of attack is higher, it trim it. What does trim mean? It's just rotate the jack screw, which is connected to the horizontal stabilizer. When MCOS gets faulty readings from sensors, it trims again and again. This figure is from Wikipedia. When the trim is too much, pilots can't override it with ailerons. It may be possible in A380, because it has bigger ailerons. You can read more about MCOS from the Boeing's website. Link to the article is in the description. So, you may ask, are pilots not able to override MCOS? No, they can't override it, but they could power off the electric trim. So why didn't they do it? The main reason is most of the pilots were not much aware of the MCOS system. Even though pilot got an iPad training, Boeing didn't highlight MCOS. Why? It's because they don't want airlines to think about the purchase of 737 MAX again, because of the additional training for the pilots. So, as you know, this MCOS lead to two fatal crash in aviation history, the Lion Air 610 and Ethiopian Airline 302. Why did you think that FAA approved the aircraft? Leave a comment in the comment section. We think that this video helped you to know about MCOS. Don't forget to subscribe us. Thank you for watching. This is Flight World. All about aviation.